One of the more important victories in the Pacific against the Japanese was the Battle of Okinawa. This was part of the Allied island hopping strategy to win the war against Japan. Okinawa is the largest of the Ryukyu island chain of Japan, which you can see in the map on the left. Okinawa has an area of about 460 square miles. It's located about 350 miles south of the island of Kyushu, which you can see in the upper right-hand corner of the left-hand map. Kyushu is the, the southernmost of the Japanese home islands. The island of Okinawa is long and narrow with a length of just under 70 miles and widths varying from 2 to 18 miles. Okinawa was the largest amphibious offensive of the Pacific Campaign and the last significant offensive campaign of the Pacific War. The Allied victory was designed to be a launching pad for the final attack on the Japanese mainland. The battle, which lasted from April 1st to June 21st of 1945, started approximately one month before the war against Hitler in Europe ended. Okinawa represented more than just another step forward in the march to Japan, though. The Japanese had built several modern airfields on the island and Okinawa possessed two harbors that would serve as excellent naval bases. The capture of Okinawa would also give the Allies a permanent land base within striking distance of most of the Japanese home islands, making it invaluable in the forthcoming final assault on Japan. The campaign on Okinawa began on Easter Sunday, uh, April 1st, 1945. Prior to the Allied landings, U.S. carriers launched massive raids against nearby Japanese air bases at Formosa, at Kyushu, and elsewhere on the Ryukyu Islands. However, despite this preemptive attack, at the time of the invasion, the Japanese still had over 700 attack aircraft available, and the Allies failed to achieve the air superiority they sought. U.S. Marines landed on the southwest side of the island, and by the second day, they had crossed over the island, effectively cutting it in half. The capture of the northern two-thirds of the island of Okinawa by the Allies went fairly smoothly, and some American commanders began to think that the Japanese will to fight was beginning to fade. However, unknown to the Americans, Japanese General Mitsuru Ushijima, who was commander of the 120,000-man Japanese garrison on Okinawa, had decided to concentrate almost all of his forces in the southern tip of the island. The Japanese had prepared a complex maze of pillboxes and other defensive positions in the limestone caves of the southern portion of the islands, and these positions were connected with a series of underground tunnels. Ushijima's garrison proved to be the largest mass of Japanese forces that the Americans would face in a single Pacific theater encounter during World War II. The Japanese fought tenaciously for almost two months, and U.S. forces died at an unprecedented rate. The early optimism by U.S. military leaders, some U.S. military leaders, proved to be unfounded, as the Japanese exacted a heavy toll for this relatively small piece of real estate. Perhaps as a microcosm of the intensity of this battle, both leaders of the opposing forces died in the Battle of Okinawa. Uh, Japanese General Yushijima committed suicide rather than becoming an American POW. U.S. Lieutenant General Simon Bolivar Buckner, Jr. died as a result of shrapnel fired from a Japanese howitzer. Um, he was likely killed because the Japanese spotted his silver insignia, the three stars on his helmet. Uh, also, sadly, another American loss in this battle was American journalist Ernie Pyle. He was killed by machine gun fire in the neighboring island of Ieshima during the same battle. Initially, Japanese air resistance had been fairly sporadic in the first days of the arrival of Allied forces. Um, later in the month of April, though, the Japanese launched an attack with 400 planes dispatched from the island of Kyushu. Intermittent Japanese air attacks continued throughout the month of April, 
Um, in the month of April of 1945, Japanese aircraft and vessels sank 20 American ships and they damaged another 157 vessels. However, in the month of April, uh, the Japanese lost more than 1,000 planes. Pictured in the image accompanying this slide is the USS Bunker Hill, which was an Essex-class aircraft carrier commissioned in 1943. While the vessel was stationed off the island of Okinawa on May 11th, the Bunker Hill suffered direct hits by a pair of kamikaze planes, and approximately 400 crewmen died in the ensuing explosions and fires. Even with the significant damage, though, the carrier managed to return under its own power to U.S. air facilities. The campaign on Okinawa resulted in a substantial, almost frightening human cost for both sides. The Americans lost a little over 7,300 7, excuse me, uh, men and 32,000 men wounded in the land battles alone. At sea, the Americans recorded uh, over 5,000 dead sailors and 4,600 wounded sailors. The Japanese, however, um, had uh, about 107,000 killed and about 7,400 POWs. Interestingly, Okinawa was the first battle in which a significant number of Japanese soldiers surrendered, as you can see in this image here of surrendered soldiers. As many as 4,000 Japanese POWs allowed themselves to be captured at Okinawa. Uh, perhaps as many as 20,000 Japanese soldiers died as a result of the American tactic whereby Japanese troops were incinerated with flamethrowers when they resisted. The Americans lost a total of 36 ships with another 368 damaged as a result of the uh, naval campaign. Um, about 760 aircraft, U.S. aircraft, were destroyed. The Japanese lost 16 ships and over 4,000 aircraft in the Battle of Okinawa. The especially high casualties in the battle helped to persuade President Truman that atomic weapons should be used against Japan later that year to reduce American troop losses and finish the war as swiftly as could be accomplished. And this brings to a close our brief look at the Battle of Okinawa.